You tell in fourth quarter late in the game, they were really getting after them. Could you say something you know, on their side of the ball? Uh, uh, I, f I feel like what we were able to do was, you know, stop the run enough, you know, to make Ole Miss uh, one-dimensional. And right. then, uh, like Coach E says, you know, pin our ears back, let's just pass for us. And, of course, you know, that's that's what we love to do. I believe that's the D-line's favorite thing to do. So. Were you in the game at, when they were backed up to the goal line? Did yes, sir. I was. It was it was one of the loudest Jordan. It was one of the loudest times Jordan Hare was. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I heard the receiver couldn't even get the play. That's why the quarterback just kept throwing it out of bounds. Uh, so it was definitely loudest. And one, like I said, what a what a moment. You know, what a whole better feeling. Was ball game, really. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gabe, that second sack you have, have you ever had a sack? Can you describe that? I mean, how did that happen? <laughs> Freshman year sack was pretty it was pretty exhilarating to but, me. But it looked like you just knocked it yeah, down with one hand. Yeah, yeah, we ran a we ran a game and it, uh, you know it, it it opened up beautifully. I don't think he saw me at all, so I was just happy that it didn't call anything with helmet to helmet. You know, so, so uh, like I said, man, it's, it's just a blessing. You know, I couldn't think of a better scenario to be in when it's you know uh, you know when it's on the line. Your defense got to step up. Just hit him in the chest with one hand. Hit him, in the, hit him in the chest. You know, a little nudge, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What does it mean? I'll say, Carl said up there that you mentioned a quote that Bo Wallace had that he has a third best defense. Where'd you hear that from? The media. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't listen to the media, but I heard it from the media. <laughs> what did you think about that when you heard that? Uh, Give me the PG version of this. I would hope it showed, uh, but uh, I just I just, I just hope that Bo Wallace learned, you know, because I heard he said a comment before he played at Bama. Uh, I'm not a big trash talk guy. Well, I am on the field, but not off the field, because, you know, your game is going to speak. Uh, I mean, he's a good player. He's an experienced player. You know, I'll give him all the credit. You know that he deserves Ole Miss is always battle hard with us. Um, but, I mean, if, if, there, if there's anything to go with Colton, Colton the team, then he should, he should really wait until after the game to do that. Where did you read that or see that? Uh, it's locker room talk. We call it bulletin board material. Coach G didn't bring it up. You know, it, it, it's nothing like that. But you could tell it was going around the locker room. And, uh, Trey was going around the hotel all day today, yesterday. Okay. So like was it in the media? Well, yeah, was it in the media? Because I haven't seen it. I, seen it. I mean, I may have missed it. You can Google it. Okay, I'll Google. 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 But, uh, yeah, like I said, Trey Mason was going around all yesterday and today. Trey, 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 Trey's one of the stuff. Yeah, he was naming teams. South Alabama, Troy, <laughs> Alabama State. And, you know, it, it, just, it just woke us up. Like, okay. Can you tell us about the play of the defensive line overall tonight? It seemed like the guys' his best night you know, the whole time. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I know I know guys may pick on the defensive backs, but as a whole, it's our job, you know, to help them uh, up front. You know, if, if they don't get the pass off, then, you know, no pass is completed. So that's the best defense, you know, pass rush. Coach Johnson and Coach G have been stressing it. And I'm just glad. I, I, I think we had six sacks, so, I mean, I mean, I just I can't think of a better night that we had since I've been here. Yeah, match your total for the entire season last year. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> You go, uh, uh, like I said, the guys really stepped up. You know, it's been a staple for us to be physical, get out to the quarterback. You know, and what we did was be able to rush four guys instead of having to blitz. So when you can do that, you can really do some special things on defense. Just, just moving forward, you guys have four wins. You got two non-conference points left. Obviously, it seems like a bowl's on the horizon. How do you guys approach that? and Maybe some increased expectations. Uh, we definitely feel like Ole Miss this win was very important for us. Uh, you know, moving forward, but uh, just coming off of Bobby, being able to study for two weeks. You know, you want to be able to, uh, you know, focus and. I I feel, like, I feel like we did that as a whole. During the bye, we had some of the best practices. And uh, you, you can tell, you know, it showed out there. You know, guys were locked in. Um, uh, I'm just I'm just proud of the way guys fought. You know, we kept the foot on the throat. Can you touch on Carl Lawson's performance? He grew up a little bit tonight, it's not look like. But. Yeah, uh, Carl's a man child. Um, to kill Spice said it a couple of times. Uh, it, was, it was nothing holding Carl back physically. It was just maybe you know, a little bit mental, you know, the mental aspect. Carl's a remarkable player. I'm sure the Auburn family and you know the media knows that now. Uh, he's been doing that at practice, you know, the second of days, and uh, I'm proud of him. Okay.